before the players take the field to start the big game, one of the first things you'll see is a big U.S. flag unfurled to start the national anthem. We wanted to learn the science behind the ceremonial display. So we went to Atlanta's flag maker, Neil Zucker, responsible for most of the flags you'll find at our local colleges and universities and flags around Mercedes-Benz Stadium. His flags have also flown in outer space, among other places. We had a flag that went to the space station, I believe it was 2008. One was recently at the South Pole, and we've done and one we've uh, had on Mount Kilimanjaro. He knows flags and creates them in four steps, from computer design to printing on paper and then a process called dye sublimation. What we're doing is we're printing a reverse image onto rolled paper. And then from there, we're taking it to a heat press where it mates with the fabric. And through time, pressure, and heat, the uh, inks and the dyes leave the paper and go into the fibers of the fabric. It's really incredible. Bigger flags, like the one in the Super Bowl, are made in a different way. It's not atypical to have a flag that can be as large as 150 feet uh, wide by 75 feet high. Mm -hmm. And then what the flag makers will do is a typical stripe, because there are 13 stripes, mm -hmm. would be about five and three quarter feet high. Wow. So these are big guys. <laughs> A flag that big weighs approximately 850 pounds and takes a minimum of 250 people to present it. When they're uh, carrying these things, they're putting on a canvas or a webbing uh, handle. But in order to ensure that the flag won't fall apart, they have to sew a strip around it, sew the webbing onto it, and do this thing right. Generally, it's so large it has to be transported by truck. Wow. It's a trend that happened after 9-11, and big flags can be found at just about every sporting event, but none bigger than the Super Bowl. Yeah, 250 people have to sit there, and then they go, they make the wave. Yeah. Make the wave. Yeah. Yeah. Make the wave. And then they cart it right on out. Yeah, it has to be trucked in by, well, trucked in. I was gonna say, had to be brought in by a truck, but yeah, it has to be trucked in, yeah. <laughs> and you, you, they buy them now because they're done at every game. It was since 9-11 uh, that you know everybody started using oh, these yeah. big flags. Mm -hmm. So now you just buy them, you know, $25,000 for a flag that big. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, very nice.